Hey everybody, Chris here at U Joint again. This build was actually done in 22. Uh, we're prepping it for delivery now. It's the second week of 2023. Uh, it took us a little longer on this one. I didn't know it was a short wheelbase rig when I initially planned for the build. And uh, so we wanted, we didn't want to use a slip yoke transfer case. We wanted a flange transfer case and it took a little longer than expected to get that from our supplier. So here we are, I'd rather it done right. And um, then, then piece it together just to get it out the door. So this is a 2019 E350 chassis. It's a Freedom Elite. I'm not sure the model number because it's been scraped off. I think this is made by Thor. I'm sure someone who knows more will correct me. Doesn't matter though. We made it four wheel drive for our customers out of Maryland. Standard recipe for the suspension anyway. Custom spec springs, front and rear, single Fox 2.0. It's got a 285-70-17 up front, a Toyo AT3 on a Pro Comp 7069 series wheel. We took off the factory running boards and uh, replaced it with some Bushwhacker flares and our cab chassis side steps. Up front, we've got a FB002 front bumper. Uh, no options, just a bare bumper with a front receiver. Swapped out the grill for a black Ford grill that we buried our um, smoked amber LED running lights in. Uh, so this is a V10, it is a six speed, so it's a 6R140 behind that. And as I mentioned earlier, we've got a flanged uh, new process 1128F. Uh, customer did want us to go ahead and put the S-Pod in it. So there's the S-Pod, nothing hooked up, but he's got future plans. Uh, 1350 CV drive shafts front and rear. One of the reasons we wanted to go with the flange T case is so we could get that one piece rear drive shaft. So it's a four inch um, steel shaft with a 1350 CV. <clears throat> Out back, we've got our Dodge wheels that we machine blast and powder coat so we can run 17s in the back. The 255-80-17 in the rear. Um, took the stock rear E350 sway bar and just changed the links to our direct mount sway bar links. That's it for this rig. Drives great. And uh, it's ready ready for the beach, ready for beach season. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments or shoot me an email, chris at ujointoffroad.com. Check out our RV page on the website, dedicated just to our, our RV conversions, how we do them, why we do them, the way we do them. And yeah, that's it. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook if you don't already at ujointoffroad. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.